I have this M6 stud and two bearings which fits on the stud and I want to make a mini table saw from it. On eBay I bought a cheap set of small saw blades. I tested one saw blade on this prototype, but it showed me that the saw blades aren't particularly good at cutting MDF. But I want to make the mini table saw anyway with M6 stud slash spindle. Some time ago I cheaply bought this electric scooter because I needed an electric motor. The scooter has this 24V 80W electric motor which isn't a cheap item if you're willing to buy it as a separate part. The motor was too weak for the original project for which I was buying this electric scooter but it perhaps can be powerful enough for this table saw which I want to make. I also want to use from the scooter this driving belt. My first idea was that I can make wheels by hand. But to make such a small wheel by hand without CNC is nearly impossible. I realized that I can use the wheels which were originally in the electric scooter. But there are few problems which need to be solved. The scooter was done to drive the driven wheel into a slower speed. I need to rebuild it into the opposite to drive it into a higher speed. And of course nothing is going to fit. I've taken away the big gear wheel. I disassembled what was on it and I start making a new part on which will be the gear wheel attached. I made this wheel from three pieces of MDF. Thanks to this wheel, I will be able to attach the gear wheel onto the axle of the motor. But there needs to be made third part, which will hold the two wheels together, and I also will be able to center the gear wheel. For the smaller gear wheel, I needed to make an adapter to it could fit onto the M6 stud. When I had the driving system done, I could start testing as a prototype. The key for making a good project is the good working prototype. The testing showed me that I will be able to cut through the MDF, but only with the smaller saw blade which has bigger teeth. That means I am going to have very small cutting depth. The cheap saw blade is going to be the weak link of this project. At least I like that the blade does an arrow cut. So only a minimum amount of material is removed and cutting does not create too much dust. At this point I realized that I will need at least 8 amps power source but I don't have any. I start making frame of the table saw from MDF.
For the other structural pieces I wanted a rock solid and thick material and I decided to glue up two pieces of laminate flooring. When I had my material I could start make the platform for the spindle. I have purposely chosen wood because the spindle is going to get hot while cutting and wood hasn't any problem to withstand quite high temperatures unlike plastic. I secured the gear onto the spindle with M3 screw. The bearing holders I am making from a thin sheet of metal, mainly because I don't have much room between the future table and the bearings. The spindle is really solid now. Now is the time to design the holder for the motor. 